I'm attorney Joey Franks, the big man with Big Man Law here in Jackson, Mississippi. And we have another sovereign citizen for you today. This time it comes from Judge Slavin or Slavin. I am not certain how they pronounce that in Michigan. So pardon my French or lack thereof. So this guy, apparently he is a frequent flyer. He's got multiple charges going on. I'll let you watch the video and we'll come back and talk more about it. But if you think these uh, uh, sovereign citizen guys are crazy and don't make any sense, well, subscribe to us. <laughs> Give us a like, a comment, whatever you got, and uh, let's talk about it. Because uh, even if you're not into the law field, the way their mind works has got to interest you or the lack thereof of how it works. So here we go. Have fun. Good morning, Your Honor. This is Eric Martin, camera one. Yeah, right. I'm the defendant, Eric Martin. I'm a living this is case. This is case two three one five one zero. People of the city of Taylor versus Eric Martin. And Jeffrey Fanto, the court asked me to verify that Mr. Martin would be presenting himself without the assistance of attorney. That appears to be his position, Judge. All right. So, Mr. Martin, you are um, waiving the House Counsel. Yes, due to, so I'm not fraudulently assumed to be the defendant, a living man, not the legal fiction corporate entity defendant, which I couldn't possibly be. I know due to canon law being, you know, unfair, it's going to, you guys fraudulently assume that if I take an attorney. So that's the unfairness why I can't accept the attorney because of that. Sure. All right. And you understand all of your constitutional rights? Um. I do my best to. I've been studying tax in law 28 years. All right. That's, uh, all right. So it um, looks like this is uh, ready to be set for a uh, jury trial. Is that right? Yeah, but I want a jury trial of my peers means of the sovereign people, not uh, U.S. citizen uh, slaves who most probably everyone of the jury probably say they are. So. I won't begin okay. to jerk my peers. I don't get up. well as, well, now as, the, as, as the individual who determines questions of law. That's me. Um, I will uh, make sure that the, it is a, a jury of your peers. So, and I'll determine the. I'll determine that. So, we will have this uh, set, and then uh, I'll mail out the date for the jury trial. The I believe there is a date set for next Tuesday for the jury trial in this matter. All right, I guess see that. I have objections. Uh, yep. I cannot probably prepare for a trial in this jail. I've been illegally denied my uh, right constitutional right to a personal bond, even though it's my constitutional right because it's part of my right to be innocent before guilty. Uh, it's been denied so far. I have no money to pay for a bond to get out of here. So that's especially why I also should be given a personal bond. And like I said, I cannot uh, probably prepare for one in here. You know. So you you're you're in there for a different matter because I set your bond at a hundred dollars personal before on this matter. So it's the whatever's keeping you in jail isn't this case. So we'll see. It. Well, um, I understand though that you do need to prepare for trial. I get that part. So we'll go ahead and adjourn the uh, jury trial. When are you? What is your out date? Um, where, where, where with whatever you're doing there? There is no out date. That's the thing. It's uh. So is this about the um, moped case? Yeah, this is driving on a. This okay, is driving while your license is. I wasn't sure, right? They got me legally confined right now in the domestic violence. No evidence at all. She lied, made a statement. So now they got right, well, hold on, Mr. Martin. Mr. Martin, hold on. You, even though this is a different court and that's not my case, right. um, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. I just want to advise you of your Fifth Amendment right again. So I, I suggest like not bringing up the other case. This case here is on the is on the uh, moped and the driving on a suspended license or, right. so or, or revoked license. Okay. Um, not so what I'm saying is you need time to prepare on that one. I I don't know what I don't know what the situation or status is of a domestic violence case, but um, you said that you're on a you're on bond. Uh, well, you haven't posted your bond on that case. Is that what you're saying? Well, they, I'm not even sure. I think the, the judge said a monetary bond. I wasn't sure because she unprofessionally drew the thing away from, you know, the 
you want to call it this, uh, you know, the remote uh, Zoom thing away from the door before I could read the hear. But it's not like she told the the police officer two thousand dollars. But I'm not even sure. I got no money to pay you by no way, but even if it's a dollar. So, so right because they illegally deny my personal bond, this is why I'm still in here. So, but but yeah. So all right. So what I'll do is yeah. I don't. Um, I don't know when that case is next. Uh, the next day is that it's a state case. Ms. Van Reno, you don't have a, a, that case, right? I, okay, I don't so it must be a state. Case. All right, and um, so that must be it. Must be a state case, which means it's on a Monday. Um, so that's probably going to be resolved within a month. So let me go ahead and set this for a jury trial. No, there will be uh, no need to set it for uh, a settlement conference before that. But let's well, get a date. That. I won't cut you up. I was going to object before you guys don't give me a chance to talk. Uh, I object to like it should be. I, I moved that to be stayed. This this moped case to, till I get out of prison. I mean, till I get out of jail here, I can prepare myself. I can't probably prepare myself. Wait, that's right. Listen, listen to my legal listen, listen, authorities. Listen, 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 nothing. It's being set for jury trial. Okay, so when is that? One? I, they didn't set it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to set it for a jury trial. But if you're still in jail. At that time, then I'll just adjourn it again so that you can prepare. I, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not worried about that. So, I mean, uh, but I can't do anything about your other case is what I'm saying. So I'm looking at, um, as far as a date right now, I just want to put a date on the books so that we know that you have an idea. I mean, if you get out tomorrow, then you'll know and then what your date is. Um, so I'm looking at, um, uh, let's see. I don't have the availability to check with my clerk because my Criminal clerk is out this week. Um, Your Honor, we do. So I'm, I'm, other jury, I'm sorry, Judge. We do have other jury trials scheduled on your docket on July 9th. I don't know if that's too soon. Uh, that's probably going to be. And it's only a couple of weeks away. So I don't. I don't. I don't think. I don't know what his situation is. And even if he gets out in a week, that only gives him uh, a little bit of time. I want to make sure he has at least a couple yeah. weeks to. I mean, it's it's I a agree. it's a driver. It's a driving on a, re a re restricted license, so it's not exactly a whole lot of prep time for for that. It's not a it's not a homicide case, but um, so I'm looking at I'm looking at uh, August thirteenth because I, I I really I'm trying to pick a date that's outside of probably where I'm already scheduling stuff at because I don't have my criminal clerk here to kind of check and see like where I'm at with things. So we're gonna set this for August thirteenth. Thank you, Your Honor. And I know that the uh, yeah. we'll, we'll set that at eight thirty, eight thirty in the morning, August thirteenth. All right, Mr. Martin, let the deputy know that uh, you're all set, and uh, we'll be mailing out the uh, notice to you, sir. Thank all right. you, Your Honor. All the best to you and your staff. Say, I have say, to say again. I said more. I want to say to okay, with the prosecutors here. Uh, deal with this other case that I'm here for now. I request that not the same, not the same, not the same prosecutor, not the same oh, prosecutor, the state Taylor prosecutor. prosecutor. Other Taylor prosecutor. I, your other case? Are you talking about your other case? Your other case is a state case, so that's a Wayne County prosecutor's office. No, so not, the, not the city attorney. I'm talking about okay. the case I'm in here now. I want to um, notify the prosecutor that I want charges filed on Crystal Bar for bringing these falsified charges against me now. And also for assault and battery that I have on video camera for. Just so, you know what I mean? And she keeps okay. bringing this. Again, that's the other prosecutor. That's a different prosecutor's okay. officer. Because it's my All equal right. protection right to bring charges to. They want to bring charges against me, but they don't have no evidence. And I do. And I should be okay. suffering here in jail as a lack of evidence. As a result of pride wow. and the unequal protection. And that's, on your, that's, on your other, that's on your other case, sir. So, but um, it's, it's, still a right, though. it's still my right to tell the prosecutors this and have them act on it. And if they no, don't, this isn't, it, that's this when it's by a defense. This isn't the proper for prosecutor. That's the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office on your other case. Okay. This is the uh, city attorney. Uh, okay. There that's there. You have a good rest of your day to you and your staff. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. So, He's trying to talk about multiple cases in front of one judge. And here's the problem. It sounds like to me that there is a second judge that's handling the other matter. 
he's there on, on a suspended driver's license and he's wanting a jury trial, which kudos, you are not getting a jury trial on a suspended license in Mississippi unless you got somebody kidnapped in the trunk. So that's pretty awesome that he has a jury trial and that he's also been practicing law for 28 years, but he's got this long explanation of why his name doesn't apply and it's stuff that's out in the left field. But I think the judge handled it well. Frankly, most of them would have probably shut him down a lot sooner. I imagine uh, if we had Judge Simpson or Judge Middleton, it would have been a little bit of right then and there whenever he, he went off on left field. Because what happens is they assign different they, they assign different types of crimes to different prosecutors. And then sometimes in a big enough jurisdiction, they'll go a step further and they'll assign certain prosecutors who prosecute certain crimes to certain judges. And that's why they're, they're not – they're not trying to mix it all up. So anyhow, if you liked it, subscribe. We're going to try having a lot more of this coming your way. Have a great evening.